Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're discussing turning your voice to income. And we have the quintessential polymath, Oladele Olunike, with us. Um, he's been giving us a lot of plus and minuses. But before, before I come to that, um, Uti, you had a question. Yeah, so, I mean, you've, you've already said so much that, in fact, I wasn't sure which question to ask to follow up. <laughs> but I think because you were just talking about identity. Yeah which is really the foundation. So if you become recognizable by your voice, then um, my next question, because again, I talked about the motivational speakers, the aspire, is it perspire to you aspire, aspire, aspire to, to perspire, 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 however that thing is said. <laughs> but um, what would you say, because I, there are very many different ways of monetizing your voice, but what would you say would be the next step? So after you found your identity, whether you want to be an OAP, a compare, a, a thought leader, so a trainer or a coach, what would be the next steps after that? Thank you very kindly, Uti, for that very practical question. The next step is to understand that there are different kinds of voices. Hmm. Hmm. There is a speaker's voice, there is a commanding voice, and there is the compelling voice. So you've got to choose to what kind of voice do you want to be known by will determine the depth, the reach, and the scope of the income you can make, whether it will be transient or transgenerational. So let's fly through them. The first voice is the speaker's voice. The speaker's voice draws his strength from the texture of the voice of the speaker, the mellifluosity of the voice of the speaker, the richness of the voice of the speaker, because everybody can sense when a speaker is timid from the voice. Hmm. Everyone can sense when a speaker lacks confidence from the voice. And I tell you, in 23 years of doing this act, you can't fake it. The audience will know whether you lack confidence. Nobody wants to listen to a person that lacks confidence. So the first voice that you must recognize is the speaker's voice. So you've got to develop your voice. And if you don't have that voice that is suiting to the ears to listen to, even if you have a great content, it can be a distraction. Hmm. If your tenses, your construction, your diction, your articulation, your enunciation, your projection, your vocal variety, or what we alternatively call voice musicality, are not in alignment even if your content is great, because there's what we call the three C's of communication mastery. There is the container, that's how you turn out. There is the content, what you know about your subject, and there is the concept, how you say what you want to say. So the first category of voice is the speaker's voice. The second category is the com commanding voice. When you are asked to speak for one minute, for two hours, for three hours, for 25 minutes on a TV show, you want to make sure that you speak in the model of the GSR. You want to gain attention. Wow. You want to sustain attention. You want to retain attention. The model, GSR, yes. gain attention, mm -hmm. sustain attention, retain attention. Because the moment people begin to log off before you finish, that mm. is the highest level of disrespect for you as a speaker. It means you've not done your job. The third category of, of voice is the compelling voice. The compelling voice has all the attributes of the speaker's voice, that is the texture, the, the richness, the mellifluosity, the vocal variety, and then the, the, the commanding voice, which grabs your attention, sustains it, and retains it. The command, uh, compelling voice is the voice of authority. It's the voice of a speaker who has developed credibility who has earned notoriety in a particular field of study. Today, we are under the siege of COVID-19 all over the world. Who are the voices they are going to listen to? They are looking for virologists. They are looking for immunologists. They are looking for infectious disease experts. So the question is, if you want to be one that has a comp compelling voice, you've got to find a message where you build strength over the years. I imagine that on this fantastic show called Ways, you have a, a, a plethora of issues that you talk about, education, lifestyle, leadership. I want to imagine that each time you invite a speaker, you don't go for the speaker's voice based on what I've analyzed. You don't go for just a commanding voice based on what I've analyzed. But you go for each person that you have been able to identify as build credibility 
on the subject you want to discuss Absolutely. that is a commanding voice mm. now when you are able to develop your voice in whatever cadre that you find yourself but i would encourage you aspire to get to the commanding voice have you ever been to a movie before and when you left the movie the sense of the movie is still ringing in your, your head. head if you are like me who watched in the early 80s one of the greatest musical videos the thrill of michael jackson i can still relate to you now how the claws came out <laughs> how the other scavengers came out from wow. the from from the forest wow. why yeah. because the commanding voice the voice of authority, the compelling voice, I beg your pardon, the voice of authority continues to ring in your head when the speaker is long gone. Oh. So the speaker's voice stays in your head as long as it affects. So when I hear you speak, impact. Now. So sorry, let, let me interrupt. I beg your pardon, please go ahead. Yeah. When I yes, hear please. you speak now, so it is, you know, when we had the topic in mind, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, everybody must say something. So when I'm hearing you, what I'm hearing you say is that that voice, you can find your voice in any field that you are at. So you don't have to now pick up, uh, what's it called? Now I hold the microphone. I want to talk like, <laughs> you know, you, you have your voice in the field where you're playing. Operate. So how are you commanding that authority in that field to attract the income? Right? That's what I hear you say. But let That's me quickly right. take a comment from our, one of right. our audience. Sami Okolawa says, In all of these, confidence building is paramount. It's a pity that millions of talents are buried um, under the rubbles of timidity. Those who build their confidence stand tall before huge audiences and make great performances. Now, at the heart of it all is uh, for the man to discover himself in the most vivid manner so that's from one of our audience i wanted to ask a question where is the place i mean where is that uh, where does consistency play in all of this you know so where, be it wherever you find yourself you know you want to find your voice in that place the role of consistency in all of this what role does it play fantastic question i must say Osayu Ame, and thank you for asking me now I belong to a family where we believe, where my parents believe that there are certain professions, there are certain vocations, there are certain occupations which are professional. Medical doctor, architecture, engineering, whatever field, lawyer, pilot, and all of that. So here is the first son of the family who, after finishing from the university in land surveying and photogrammetry, who was supposed to go and do architecture, masters in architecture abroad, and suddenly says, I want to act, I want to speak, I want to write. <laughs> At the time I began to speak, there was, no, there was no understanding of how you can connect speaking to money, hmm. to income, because nobody can even think about whether you can convert it to training, into workshop. But the place of consistency is this. I had a headlong collision with my father, who did not believe in my craft. It was tough. It was rough after graduation. But I believed in this craft. Mm. Even when I didn't know as much as I know today. And I'm still a work in progress. Because I'm a lifelong learner. Mm. As I stayed with my craft. When it did not work for seven years after my first degree. When I had three pairs of trousers. And seven faithful shirts. And one faithful pair of black shoes that gave way one day when I had to trek to a speaking engagement that was 30 minutes away in trekking for my location. <laughs> I knew I wanted to do this. Yeah. But as I stayed on it, because just like in agriculture, investment in destiny is like planting a seed. Mm. Your consistency is the watering. Mm. is the nurturing. Mm -hmm. If you get tired and you jump into something else, what you've done is to uproot that plant and attempt to plant it somewhere else. Mm. Please go and ask farmers. Go and ask agriculturalists. They will tell you that plant cannot grow at that level. Mm. It has to die even if it will survive. Mm. So the place of consistency is such that the more you stay in your field, the more you stay on your turf, the more you are building recognition. 
Whether for every job you're doing, you did some pro bono, because you've got to also understand how to move from speaking for, for free to speaking for a fee. You've got to understand the days of volunteerism. Because when you start to speak for a fee, all the days, the weeks, the years that you are spoken for free are part of what make up your resume. Mm. And they will also be part of what will make your income. How do I mean? Somebody rightly said, and I believe it. If you asked me to do a job and I did it for 30 minutes, the bill I'm giving you is not for 30, 30 minutes. The bill I'm giving you is for 10 years because it took me 10 years to learn how to do that job in 30 minutes. Mm. So we've got to understand that when we find our voice, when we find our talent, when we add talent plus training plus trading and we want to profit, even when the profit is still little, I tell people, if you can see little, it is the potential of what can grow if you stay on it. So the area of being consistent, being continuous, and being constant are key if your income must grow astronomically. Awesome, because when we have limited your voice. time. Quickly, AK, okay, then so, will come to you. So, like, short answer. You we talked about the place of um, volunteerism. When does it end? And when do you start making money? And just a little advice on how do you start charging Fantastic question, Akanimo. Volunteer, you see, we have a challenge in our generation today. Every young person who comes into the game wants to earn. Because when you are in volunteer, you look for people who are already established. You look for people who are models, who are the picture of the future that you envision. Who are the perfect model of what you are aiming at and serve on under them. Because when you are doing that, even when you are not paid, you are being paid. Mm. The reason why we think that we are not any people in volunteerism is because we have a narrow perspective of what income is. There are seven levels of income. The least of them is money. Mm. Wow. There is experience. There is track record. There is association. There is brand leverage, which you gain under an established personality that you volunteer under. Mm. So when you volunteer, the more you gain experience and you begin to deliver what you've learned, you will begin to earn from the level of commendation, ovation. Then some people will ask you, oh, Akanimo, do you do this for money? We want to hire you to come and do it. Then you begin to signal. And then it is time to begin to earn money. So commendation, ovation, then remuneration. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, That's so quickly, volunteerism. <laughs> To, to income. Awesome. Uti, quickly, short answers, quickly. <laughs> short question, yeah, short answers. So, so again, I'm, I, we've given so many practical tips so Absolutely. far, so I think I will stick with that line as well. And just ask, you did mention um, you taking courses every year, and I see from your profile that you are certified um, in that area of professional speaking. Maybe just give us some insight into maybe one or two courses that people who might be interested in the knowledge space and the speaking space can actually benefit from? Fantastic. Thank you very much for that question, Uti. Now, I'll ask you to begin in a very easy way. Whilst I may not read out courses, not because I don't have them in my head, let me give you the simple ways. One, read a book. Hmm. The first book I read that, that, that latched me onto the path of speaking, I read at the age of 16, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale oh, Carnegie. Okay, okay. Then I read the book, why You Act the Way You Do by Tim Lahai and Beverly Lahai. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Books, when you read books, what you're doing is you're rubbing minds. You who may be 16-year-old, you're rubbing mind with, the, with somebody who has 60 years experience because he has packed the totality of the experience of his years in the book you're reading, which you bought for maybe $2, $5. So read books. Number two, Get a mentor. Mm -hmm. Because a mentor is also someone who can be willing to share with you their years of experience and point you to courses. Let me quickly latch on to courses. You've got to take, there are quite a number of professional speaking courses. For, for instance, in our organization, we have what we call putting a new sheen on your presentation polish. 
which is a practical do-it-yourself stand and deliver session. There is also what we call putting a new sheen on your diction and elocution mastery, which we alternatively call master polished eloquence. There are quite a number of them. All you need to do is to look at the right sources. Absolutely. When I began in my career, I'm sorry? Sorry, because we have like one minute left. <laughs> <laughs> we're so sorry. The time runs so fast when we're having all right. So final, it, it's all the right. final, it's the third right. point would be what? Your mentor will, will point you in those areas okay. that will cut short your journey of 40 years into mm. four years absolutely absolutely i think we can we can wrap it like the the time flew by <laughs> like so fast thank you so much um the quintessential polymath she's, Ola in, she's in, love with the I'm in love with that name and <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that we would have the honor to have you again you know um to host you again because this was really really an um an engaging conversation eye-opening for us and we learned a lot Very informative. Um, yeah we learned a lot and i it ties you know your your equation that you gave us ties up very quick nicely with our quotes for the day talents plus training plus trading mm -hmm. trading is the work yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so uti would uh, we don't have time for one one minute we just want to say it so quickly <laughs> Okay. okay, so I would say today what I have learned is own your voice because mm. it is part of your identity. Absolutely. Uti, how that. about you? Do the work. That's it. Do the work. Bring the do talent, the do the work. Absolutely. And, and, you know, everything else falls into place. So Absolutely. And we are talking about reading culture on Sunday. I saw Uti smiling. So we are talking <laughs> about reading culture on Sunday. So, I mean, we're, we're in line. This is a very good weekend. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Um, remember to tweet at us and continue all the conversations on all our social media platforms at Way Show Africa and at Plus TV Africa. And please remember that the repeat of this episode tomorrow, it will be at 3 p.m. It's been a very, very engaging and insightful conversation. Keep all the conversations going on all our social media media platform like as i had mentioned earlier now in case you missed today's quote here it is again talk doesn't help someone out of poverty mm. uh -uh. that takes doing and like you rightly heard our um, guest today he said talent plus trading plus training equals profit Perfect. you know so that is where you want to be so whatever talent you are you are at, you have you know trade and train and you know it will equal profit so we'll see you tomorrow live at 8 p.m as we bring another great conversation to your screen enjoy your evening enjoy